It does not really matter what time of the day, night, or evening that you listen to the On God podcast. This is half of your host, which you know as Randy, aka LZ. Now, let us not waste any more time and actually do what we always do right before we get into scripture. And what we normally do is show our support and love and salute those on the front lines that are out here risking their lives each and every day dealing with this COVID 19 corona. Um, First of all, we love y'all, we support y'all, and we salute, salute you all. Um, you guys got gumption um, more than a lot of people. And I definitely want to salute and uplift to the Lord those that are out here doing things that they're not sanctioned by the government to do. Um, the people that are using money out of their own pockets and doing good out here in the community definitely want to support the charities out here um salute y'all um may god bless each and every single one of you all man um something i actually wanted to say regarding this whole situation like first of all the church that well the church buildings that that are out here playing dos out while um the world is actually being active there was actually a meme last night that i read um this one girl is like saying the government is opening uh the alcohol ban over the church and this guy retweeted it and basically said that um that's because sab which is the freaking bruce whatever um actually donated I don't know, I think 70% of alcohol towards the government so they can make hand, san- hand sanitizers. Now, the church just told people like to keep giving even in this um, <laughs> this time and whatnot. And I agree with that guy, man. I hate to say it, but the church was only concerned about their pockets. They didn't care about the community. They didn't care how the economy was going to hurt everybody else. All they worried about was that people still give them so they were fine. But they didn't really worry about the community. But that's not what I want to dwell on, man. Um, I know a lot of you will put in a lot of work, especially with this whole COVID-19 thing. Trying to make money, trying to make ways... To make ends meet and i salute you and i support you and i support you all but there's one important thing that we always forget like when we teach people to be successful uh, and whatnot and to work extra hard and whatnot but one thing we never teach people is to rest rest is the one thing that's constantly overlooked everywhere except in the bible in the bible it says in psalm 127 verse 2 it says in vain you rise early and stay up late toiling for food to eat for he grants sleep to those he loves now the sad thing is um we constantly told that we should overwork ourselves to death which is why oh man we're such a frustrated generation and whatnot because we're constantly working we barely sleep and our bodies are tired and we don't perform as well as much as the previous generations because the previous generations they used to even work two jobs and sleep they used to sleep man they used to rest like for real and that's the energy that we need to do in everything that we do we always need to be rested he says those who are weary come to me and i'll give you rest okay that being said i love you all Please do enjoy your day. Peace.